Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 6. It's L58 and we are going to go through the sealed cave. Alright. So, I have the Gaia armor on Mog, Locke, and Terra and we run into a lynch uh, right, right off the bat. We're going to be running into a lot of battles here. Uh, it's just going to be one of those places. Now these liches are, uh, they're weak to pearl, but you don't have pearl right now. Just don't cast fire or poison on them. And just uh, attack them and you should be alright. I, I would, I would think. <laughs> Let's see how ice works. It's okay. There you go, Locke. Locke's doing the damage. So yeah, I, I brought him because those weapons that he has equipped have uh, a chance of doing 1.5 extra damage, which is nice, and he's already doing pretty good damage. We received the Assassin, that's going to be for uh, Shadow, next time we have him. Let's see here, now we fight the Apparites. And let's see here. The Aperites are weak to ice and pearl. But uh, they go down pretty easily, especially if we have them in a pincer attack. So, they're, they're really nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. Cyan just, just owned them. Alright, and we got the Tempest. Now, if you didn't steal it off of uh, that final boss in the Maytek facility, you now get it. Which, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see. It has a random chance of casting this uh, wind spell that basically attacks uh, everyone on the screen. Alright, so, as you see, that's what happens when you do this puzzle wrong you'll get sent back to the start. I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. I'm coming down with a cold right now, and that's not fun. I've been drinking my orange juice and my water and trying to get some extra sleep, but yeah, that's just, just not working today. Alright, so the Zombone. Zombones are weak to fire, and you're going to fight a lot of them. So, get used to it. <laughs> really, there, there's going to be one item, uh, one item, one monster that's weak to bolt, one monster that's weak to ice, one monster that that's weak to fire. But Alright, and we got the coin toss, which is a relic for, uh, for Setzer. And, uh... Basically, it allows you to use GP rain, which I still recommend use the slots. But uh, GP rain uses up your GP to attack. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But still, if you can get your timing down, the slots are much better. Ah, right. oh, so many random battles. All right, and I don't even know how to pronounce that. So we're fighting these guys. <laughs> oh, come on, just just give that one to me. These 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 little scorpions are weak to ice, so uh, but I'm not gonna use their weakness against them. Why should I, huh? Huh? Why should I? And there you go, that's that's what the Tempest is all about, and that's why it's one of Cyan's best weapons. Haha, <laughs> you can't cast it. Alright, some hog learned rasp. Yay. Alright, and we got an X potion, cool. So let's just get out of here. Well, this is taking longer than I expected. 
No, nope, wanna go this way. Wanna get that ether. Alright, so pretty much fought all the enemies in the cave. There really won't be too many new battles. So, I think I'm just gonna start editing them out. <coughs> oh yeah. Aye. It's the black lung paw. Alright, so to get that chest up north, you need to go through here. Oh, stop fighting me. Flip the switch, fall down. Alright. So, run over here. And... <clears throat> darn it. And we get another Genji glove. Woo! I'm gonna give that one to Cyan. Yeah, replace the white cape. Cool. Might switch that on to Terra in the near future, but probably not not in this episode. And I'm just getting assaulted. They just they just don't want me here. All right, so if you flip the switch on the left, it will open the cave. If you flip the switch on the right, you'll fight this ninja. And this ninja can be a little bit of a problem if you're not ready for it. He's weak to a bolt and pearl, if you for some reason had pearl, but you don't. Uh, but we will f we will see him uh, on in the future. I'll just leave it at that. Oh yeah. And he could be, like I said, he could be a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, if you're not careful, because he can throw those edges that uh, y that shadow can throw basically cast like a multi-spell and really hurt you. And so he just told us about the, a treasure. And I think the game's telling you you should uh, heal up right now <laughs> for giving you a tent and a save point. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take that treasure because he has no use for it anymore. And you know, I, way like good treasure go to waste. I mean, Locke's with us and sure he would be pretty upset if we didn't take it with us. Alright. I think Cyan would be in a lot of pain right now if his armor's metal and we're that close to lava. It's probably not too chilly in there. You know? You know? Haha! <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so just get through this little pathway and... And we get an elixir. Wow, cool. I'm surprised I didn't see a clock. Alright, oh, can't do anything there. So, go around. Don't hit this switch right here yet. Yeah, flick the switch. Now, now we're gonna go down past the switch. <clears throat> Uh oh. Oh yeah. So now we're fighting some Ings. Ings can be a little annoying, but they're not so bad. Let's see. Their weakness is uh, pearl and water, so you really don't have any magical weapon that, that attacks their weakness. But, uh. Yeah. Once once you finish off um the Zombone, then just focus physical attacks to the ING. Uh, I believe also if you if you take away all their uh, magic MP, they die. I could be wrong. I think that was somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, it was somebody else. <coughs> mm. That's not good. Alright, so, we're gonna hit this switch right here, and we're gonna open that door. Sweet! find this treasure that he's talking about. See some magicite. Now it's not an esper that we can equip. It's an item that will cast a random esper, even ones that you don't have. And you can use them. I don't really use them. I don't see the point because there is an esper that can also kill you. Uh, well, it's only supposed to hurt you, but at this point in the game, it would kill you in comparison to what it should do. So, 
I just I just stay away from it. Then it could also cast an Esper that uh, would help, you know, would heal the enemy rather than hurt him or her. So I just try not to mess with it. And we received the Atmo weapon, one of the best swords in the game. And as you see, the battle power goes crazy, but really, the battle power all depends on how much HP you have. It's a lot like Cloud's final sword in Final Fantasy VII. Now, I like giving that to Locke. That's just me.